As it turns out, logarithms were just a nice way for math people, specifically scientists, to rewrite numbers. And it apparently saved them time. And since it saved them time and they loved it so much, now you have to learn them as well. Okay. In fact, one of those famous sci scientists, uh, I forget which one, but he said that uh, these logarithms are going to save scientists many years of time so that they can work faster. And that now is important to you guys. So let's look at this logarithm stuff. Notice this B right here. We call that the base. And the B right there in the, this exponential right there, we call that the base, which is why we gave it the letter B. Because base starts with B. So hopefully that helps you remember at least that part, okay? Now the answer to a logarithm like this, right? It's equal to some value. Why? That, it, it's going to equal the exponent. So that's why the Y right there is the exponent, okay? On the other hand, if we look at the exponential B to the power of Y, that's going to equal some value. That's what the log is of. It's of that x value, okay? I don't know if that helps or not. One way that I look at it, if I want to change, which is what you guys are going to have to do on the homework, if I want to go between logarithmic form and exponential form, is since I've got a b, right, I just move it over here to the y and get rid of the log. See how that kind of gives me b to the power of y equals x right there. And then on the other hand, if I wanted to change this exponential to a log, then I'd just make this log, well, the base b is always the b, and then I get rid of that b, I've got my y, right? Log base b of x, you can put parentheses or not, doesn't matter, is y. All right, so based on what we see up there, we can change this into a logarithm with the base that's 4 of the answer, which is 64, and you can put that in parentheses if you want. That should equal the exponent, which was 3, and that would be log, uh, the logarithmic form of this exponential equation.